I'm Casualty CDG, but you can call me Gary or your Uncle Gary. And I'll be playing the part of Morgan Fierce tonight. I'm Kayvon, and I am playing Rill. Till. Till Roar. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting mixed up. Oh, no. Uh, the fucking uh, Sleigh Bell song. Ring, ding, ding, a ling, ring. I <laughs> oh, no. Together with no. the Sleigh Bell, together with you. That's, that one? That's Kayvon. Kind of, kind of. No, that's pretty much Real Kayvon in a box. Kayvon's just a Christmas write song. Name. I'm gonna write your name down so I can. Is it Till Roar or Real Tor? It's Till, Till Roar. Roar. Till, see, look at this. I wrote down Real. Look what you got me doing. Till Roar, like that. Real Real is the song from the Sleigh Bells, and it's fucking dope, and I love it. It's my like hype song. <laughs> the Ting Tings. No. We'll listen to it eventually. Uh, yeah, but hey, everybody, welcome to the stream. Uh, this is session two. Um, where we last left off, our adventurers had traveled from their hometown, uh, leaving mostly for the first part, uh, for the first time, uh, traveling across country roads and into the forest. Um, in a town, they encountered beast men trying to steal away with some villagers. Uh, they protected the villagers and slayed the beastmen, much to my surprise. Uh, <laughs> and then hightailed it down the road towards their goal of Nuln. Um, I actually had a guy reach out to me on the forums, and his name was Beastman. And he said that it was not cool that we killed his kin, and he's going to come for us. Oh, I hope he shows up. <laughs> That was on the uh, on the subreddit for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. I was bragging about how we fucking took down two beastmen, and he was like, "Those are my brothers! How dare you?" <clears throat> Technically, took you took down two, uh, lesser beastmen. That's right, but now uh, that guy is hot on our trail, so we've made another enemy out of our uh, if, out of our. Community. If he shows up to the stream, I will summon a full fledged beastman. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, let me go. While you're DMing, I'm going to try to find that Yeah, don't worry. I'm post. recapping right now. So, uh, uh, yeah, they hightailed their uh, way towards Nuln, their goal, where awaits their mission uh, for Till Roar to appraise and acquire an artifact on behalf of his father and their organization. Um, <laughs> they stopped at an inn for a night and it began to storm outside. Um, and let me set the scene here. Oh, actually, I wanted to do a history lesson real quick. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah. I wanted to read a little Warhammer lore for you guys. There he is, Beast Man. I found him. Yeah, tell him. I'm going to send him a private message right now on Reddit. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, so 30 years before the incursion of chaos, a twin-tailed comet streaks through the sky, heralding the birth of Sigmar to Chief Bajorn uh, of the Unburgen tribe in the Reichendorf. The comet leads a crazy war party of orcs to Sigmar's birthplace. And his mother, Griselda, is killed in the attack, leaving Sigmar with a lifelong hatred of greenskins. Wow, Sigmar racist. We already knew that, though. I mean, that's fair. <clears throat> I mean, he's a, he's a Caucasian deity, so... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like eh, most deities are probably pretty racist. Uh, but yeah, so... Now, where were we? As the rain pours down in thick sheets, the steady crackle of the hearth, the sky ignites as a door bursts open, followed by the boom of a cataclysmic bolt from above. Silhouetted in the doorway, illuminated by the blinding burst of lightning, is a man in a wide-brimmed hat, leading something by a chain. As they step in, you see a tall, gaunt, hard-faced man with a weary, 
<laughs> with a weary look on his face, holding a chain. Mm-hmm. At the end of that chain, you see a girl, bound in iron and gagged by a horse bit. She's a witch! <laughs> she's young, perhaps only 14, wild-haired and wild-eyed, wearing naught but rags, feet bare, bloody, and filthy. Everyone in the common room turns and stares in surprise. The man casts a grim look over the denizens and turns to the, uh, the bar. A room for the night, he says, while placing a silver coin on the bar. The innkeeper, Mort, takes it with shaking hands and slides a key. L- l- last door on the right, he stutters. Uh, as he walks through the entryway, he gives one last glance around, a suspicious look. I put my back, like, against the wall, and my hands are outspread. Like, I am obviously not planning anything. I'm terrified. This dude is the shit. That's a witch. I'm back up against the wall, giving them a wide berth to come through. Everybody knows (laughs) what he is, and everybody assumes what she is. The sight of a witch hunter is uh, known. But yeah, everybody shies away. Can I reason uh, reasonably think that I can whisper to Morgan without anyone else hearing? Yeah. No one's paying attention, and the, the sound of the storm outside is loud. Perfect. A little nudge and a lean in till we'll whisper, he's got money. Of course he does. He's a witch hunter. We don't. Our... You're not suggesting we rob the witch hunter. I'm saying he might misplace some of his money throughout the night. That's the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. And I I I will put my I'll start to unzip my tent. My tent that has <laughs> a zipper tent. And look, just for full effect. <laughs> my tent to get in people watch you uh well after the the innkeeper is gone that's right because he doesn't want me to have it in here uh yeah here or not the innkeeper the witch the witch hunter sorry uh but yeah without a word he he pulls the witch through through the common room uh she leaves behind mud and blood as she drags her feet um, she gives a sorry look to anyone who'll make eye contact. Mm-hmm. I, I b- barely, I, I barely make eye contact and I look away at the ground. You're probably the only person that does. Yeah, it's, I have to, I'm too curious, but I'm not, I'm, I'm interested, right? The only, the, the only other person that looks is the halfling. Uh, but now it is just you. Uh, including you, it is 13 people in this common room. Oh, the witch hunter stays? No, no, no. The witch hunter and the witch go to the room. Okay. The witch hunter and his prisoner, I should say. Uh, but everyone else remains. Uh, after uh, a tense silence, everyone kind of looks at each other, shrugs it off as best they can, and continues uh, the clanking of plates and the drinking of alcohol. Uh, I'd just like to tell some stories around the the bar while we're cleaning up and drinking and such as the night goes on, uh, and make a charm check to reflect that. How do you feel about that, Game Master? I approve. Um, The people... uh, So let me give a rundown of who's in here right now, uh, because you might have forgotten some of them. I know the nobles and their body man, their henchmen, don't care for me. So yes. I probably won't do much more talking to them. There's a bodyguard, two uh, nobles sitting in a corner in the high back chairs by the hearth. Uh, then there is a halfling by his garb and what he uh, carries on him. You can tell he's probably some sort of herbalist or alchemist. Uh Then there is another man. He's in somewhat decent dress. uh, Appears to be a merchant. And then there is a disheveled man uh, on the other side of the hearth, sitting on the floor, 
eating his bread that someone gave to him. Uh, there's a barmaid. Her name is Amy. And she's as attractive as you think she is. Damn, uh, what up, girl? Then there's another uh, middle-aged couple sitting at one of the tables. Uh, they mostly kept to themselves, but they don't really seem... They seem like decent enough people. <clears throat> and then... There's a large, burly man. Uh, he looks kind of wild, unkempt, uh, wearing furs. Uh, and he has with him uh, an axe that's clearly designed for chopping down wood. So, I think that my main marks here are going to be trying to make friends with the halfling and with the traveling merchant. Uh, I'm curious about the halfling. And the traveling merchant's always a good friend for a peddler all right uh for wait wait, the the merchant you said uh yeah the merchant and the halfling okay go ahead and chat them up man you can do a charm check give me give give me a little chat chat so i roll my charm and do i have a modifier no uh i i'll say no it seems like a it's kind of been a tense night i'm trying to get the mood back built up very good. Here we are. Yes. Alrighty. So, um, the halfling That's and the a- merchant will both saddle up to you. Um, the merchant's very, very friendly. Uh, big smiles. Uh, pretty charming himself. Uh, and the halfling is just a friendly little bugger like they usually are. Uh, he is so- indeed an alchemist. Any chance that either of you two are going to be headed on the road in the morning? We could use a bit more of an adventuring party. Safer on the road to stay away from beast men in a group, you know. The halfling, uh, where are you headed? Uh, n- n- no, going to Nome. That's oh, right. Nome. Going to Nome. So far south. Uh, I'm heading that way myself, but not to Nome. But you are headed south? Yes. Ah, then maybe on a leg of the journey, we could keep each other company. Perhaps. And then he'll... And what about... Uh, I'm sorry. And then he'll chuckle, and he'll be like, if we survive the night, and he'll point towards uh, where the witch and the witch hunter uh, went, and he'll laugh about it. Yeah, right, my goodness! Was that... That was a witch and a witch hunter! Crazy! And everybody stares life. at you. My whole life, I've always just thought that, geez, wouldn't that be so spooky to see in person? And boy, baby, was I right. It's so spooky. Uh, the large burly man gets up out of his chair and walks uh, past you, shooting you kind of like a mean glance when he does so, and he grabs some wood from the corner and throws it on the hearth. Uh, I smile and nod as he walks by. He'll kind of, he'll just like give you the half nod, you know, like. Nice. Um, but yeah, what were you doing? Were, oh, yeah, continue, continue. Right. Yes, and uh, you, merchant, uh, are are you headed in south in the direction of Nome? Oh, I'm heading north myself. Oh, be careful! Those woods were littered with beast men. We came through just two days ago, and we were. But abruptly, abruptly attacked by four. Oh, of wow. Which I slayed three. Thanks. And my compatriot in the corner. Thanks for letting one. me know. You're you welcome. S- slayed one. Wow. We slayed three. three. We slayed three. And a half. One ran away. <laughs> <laughs> now, you must be some warriors. I would be lucky to have you as companions on the road. Alas, I'm heading the other direction. That's all right. Perhaps we'll meet up again. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm from that direction. If you're looking for a place to stay, my tent city should be set up right outside the church. Uh, granted, it's not indoors. There's no heating, and it is just cold <laughs> cement. But if you want to find yourself sleeping outside in an alleyway, why, boy, howdy, I'll tell you which one's the best. If I need a hovel to stay in, you'll be the first person I ask. That's all I ask, sir. Uh, I bid you a good evening. <laughs> uh, the halfling, he, uh, they, so they both introduce themselves. The halfling is named Oliver, and the merchant's name is Edmund. Um, Are these things that you'd like me to write down as a player, or is that something later? I'm like, hey, what was that fucking guy's name, and you're good? Oh, I don't care. I have, I have the, 
Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, whatever you want to do, man. Uh, but yeah, Oliver, uh, you're all right, tall guy. Um, I'm getting a hey. little South Park with that voice, <laughs> uh, but he'll, uh, I like you. And if you're going to be fighting Beastmen, you might need something like this and he'll offer you a, a vial, uh, full of some sort of liquid. Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, and I'll, I will go to t take the vial as this, I'm guessing this isn't free, but I'm a peddler. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm just going to reach out to take it. Hi, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany said hi in the chat. Uh, yeah, no, it, it is, in fact, a, uh, he'll explain it to you. It's a healing potion. Ah, yes, thank you. I'm sure I can make use of this somewhere. I actually had it set up that if you uh, befriended the halfling with a good enough fellowship test that he would give you a potion. So. <laughs> All right. And then I was like, oh, great, he went right for the halfling. <laughs> Of course he did. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to put a health potion in my inventory. Okay. Uh, they're pretty good. When you drink it, uh, it doesn't take an action. It takes, like, your free action. Um, and if as long as you have at least zero wounds, not negative, as long as you're conscious, you recover your toughness bonus worth of wounds. Damn. You can only use one per encounter. Recover toughness, bonus, wounds. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can make a little item thing. Yeah, that's right. I like Roll20. I think it's pretty good. It's uh, it's easy to use. Especially the character sheet. Yeah, the character sheet. Uh, whoever made the character sheet for this uh, game in Roll20, you're the shit. Yeah, man, you, you are. are the shit. Yeah. Duh. Duh shit. <laughs> hey, look at that. Boom. Yeah. Free action. You are conscious. Recover toughness bonus wounds. One per encounter. That's a good yeah, description. Buddy. Fuck yeah. All right. So, uh, but yeah, you guys are chatting it up. Uh, are you guys drinking? Um, I don't have any money to drink. Am I offered a drink by one of my newfound comrades? Probably. Ah, a drink it'll be then. Uh, the strongest thing you have, bartender. <laughs> if I'm drinking free, I want it to really Edmund, Edmund will put a hand up. He'll be like, one of the cheapest thing you have, please. Hey, the cheapest and strongest. Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, he'll, he'll buy uh, you a drink. And if you want one, he'll buy you one too, Roar. No. Okay. Roar is not drinking not tonight. Not drinking the witch in the building. That's not that's not the worst plan. Uh yeah. But yeah, so give me a let's see. I don't think you have to roll yet. I think you have to like drink drink. Are you gonna drink drink? Uh if people keep buying me drinks I might, but Yeah, probably you know, not. Yeah, no, probably not. They probably just buy me one to calm the nerves, but I bet they're not trying to get me tore up tonight. Probably not. Everyone's <laughs> right. stuck here together. I have one drink to calm my nerves and then go to my tent to sleep. So does it look like everyone down here is sleeping by the hearth tonight? Uh, some of the... Uh, you can probably assume that the nobles will not. Um, okay. But most everybody else will, except for the people that work here. Yeah. Okay. It's a common thing. Uh, people often share... The hearth room. It's warm, anyways. No one really minds too much. Uh, but yeah. Anyone do anything else of note before they go to bed? Mm -mm. We had our stew, right? Mm -hmm. We yeah. had stew. I had a drink. We got our place to sleep. I think I'm good for the night. Uh, the the homeless looking man in the corner will come up to you. He'll he'll try to drum up some conversation hello how are you good evening sir this is my friend till roar and uh i'm mr pierce <laughs> my name's greg nice to meet your acquaintance good to meet you he, seems, he seems fairly he doesn't he speaks like he uh 
has seen better days, you know? Well, he is a homeless fellow, so I suppose that's easy to believe. Yeah. (laughs) What brings you guys south? We're going to Nome! I heard. How exciting. Any Uh, reason in particular? I've never been to Nome. I don't know if it's exciting. So far, it's been treacherous and terrifying. Uh, (laughs) Exciting, yes. But more treacherous and more terrifying than exciting. He's going to pull up a chair next to you. He's going to pull out a knife. And then he'll pull out a bit of scrap wood. It looks like he got it from next to the hearth. And he starts whittling away. Yeah, I'm heading south myself. Warmer weather. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, tis the season. He'll put his feet up on uh, the bench, and you can see he's not wearing any shoes. His feet are kind of scuffed up and tough looking. And his teeth are stained with the telltale signs of a weird root, which is a very common street drug. Mm -hmm, It sure is. Uh, stained what color? It's sort of like a like a blackish. Okay. Like a blackish, like uh, like he was eating beets or something. It's almost red. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, he'll start whittling away, and uh, he's not bad. He's a pretty decent whittler. Hey man, you're not bad. You're a pretty decent whittler. Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah, it looks like a little. You what you got there? A little goat? A little goat man? Is that a little bear? What is that? That's good. That's coming along. After he, uh, after like thirty minutes of bullshitting with you, talking about uh, where he came from, where he's going, uh, he'll offer it to you. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate this. It's very nice. It's a. Uh, as you look, it's a beast man. It's a beast man. Very good. A trophy. I guess you heard me. You heard me earlier telling about how I took down all those beast men with my dagger, huh? It's I still sure stained. did. It's still stained with the blood to prove it. Was it warm? He says kind of (laughs) creepily. Yes. You'll see him stick something in his mouth and, like, laugh. Like, (laughs) (laughs) And as he's chewing it, you can see his pupils dilate. And then he'll go back to the corner and just kind of rock himself to sleep. What a strange man, Till. What a very strange fellow. You seem to attract these strange fellows. Mm, Takes one to know one, doesn't it, Till? You'll hear a booming voice from behind you. Yeah, I suppose it is because you're a little strange yourself. (laughs) Ha ha! Oh, the lumberjack. How could you tell? (laughs) Did the stream explode? You froze on my screen, and then the stream exploded. No, you disconnected. I definitely disconnected. Is it back? Everything's back? Okay. We're Looks good. good on my screen. Yeah. All right. My internet had a hiccup, but I'm back, baby. My bad. No, you're good, man. <laughs> but I yeah, the, to make sure the stream didn't explode. Kota will say, uh, I find it hard to believe that you killed three full-grown gores. Believe what you will. It makes no difference to me. Probably just small ones, huh? As a, as a woodsman, I often come across these things. If you go too deep. They seemed pretty large to me. Large hooves, large horns. They stood easily 12 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> um, Go ahead and give me uh, some sort of charm or bullshit rule okay i'm i love bullshit rules that's kind of that's my thing Ooh. oh no uh you didn't fail bad a, a negative one success level i was reading is like you you fail but you kind of succeed in another way uh so he'll look at you uh he seems a little more impressed after your lie but he'll be like i knew they were small ones he he now believes that you killed something but he also believes you're exaggerating the size Uh, he would be correct yeah (laughs) he's on to that part 
but yeah, he'll he'll uh, he'll kick his chair out aggressively, kind of, and he'll go off to a side and uh, set up his little nest. As he stands up uh, to look at him, do you happen to have a sharpening stone for that axe? Of course. May I use it? He'll kind of look down his nose at you a little bit. Uh, go. You can take give my me, axe out and put it on the table. You can give me a charm or a fellowship test. Uh, we'll, Still dirty with beast man blood. We'll, we'll call it an easy <laughs> one. So uh, add. Uh, plus 20. Um, dun, dun, dun. Charm, you say? Yeah, charm or fellowship. I mean, I guess you can just click the charm since it's the same thing. Here it goes, here it goes. Oh, success. Ooh. Just a straight up success. He'll Clearly. let you borrow it. He'll. I'll expect this back. And he'll toss it to you. I'll begin sharpening my hand axe. He'll kind of look at you approvingly, uh, but he'll he'll go off on his own. He's yeah. he's chewing and he puts a big old wad of tobacco in his mouth, and then he spits on the floor. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're cool. Um, so if there's nothing else, you guys are going to turn in for the night as well. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, Morgan Fierce, he sleeps in his tent in the, the common room. Uh, what do you do, Mr. Till? Um, I'll just bust out my bedroll. Okay, that's pretty much what everyone knows. Uh, eventually the nobles will turn in. Uh, you'll notice that their bodyguard actually sleeps out here. They don't buy him a room. Uh, <laughs> uh, and the merchant also surprisingly goes to a room too after not too long uh, you didn't think he had the money but um, everybody else beds down in here okay and as everyone turns in for the uh, and the hearth dwindles to embers the roll of the rain on the, the roof lulls everyone quickly to sleep Haunted by dreams of beastmen, you both see yourselves in a pool of blood, with a figure standing over you. You awaken to the sensation of encroaching warmth as you, uh, as you awaken. You feel something warm cling to your faces as you sit up and realize in horror that it is fresh blood. You look around, checking for wounds, and as you uh, look, you see Greg, the Traveler, gutted upon the table. The room is dark. Uh, the the hearth not but embers. Is that? Um, do we hear anything? No, it's it's what it's all you hear is the roar of the rain and the wind outside. Uh, I'll throw a couple logs on the hearth, and try and get some light in here. I yeah. unzip my tent and come out, blood all over my face. Uh, is any blood? Blood! I'm bleeding. I am bleeding profusely. I need water right now. Morgan. Morgan. Yes. Yes. Real. Till. What? I'll point to Greg. The bodyguard shoots up as you start talking loudly and draws his weapon, looking around. Oh, is Greg going to be okay? Doesn't look like it. His guts are bared, uh, pointing up. His back on the table, his head lulled over the back of the table with a look of excruciating pain on his face. You know, they tell you not to do weird root. <laughs> they do tell you. Um, For all of you kids at home, stay away from drugs. 
<laughs> yeah, don't do drugs, kids. You'll wind up eviscerated <laughs> on a table in an inn <laughs> in the middle of the countryside. <laughs> I think the the dare the dare program would have been more effective with that warning. You like drugs? Then you must love getting murdered. <laughs> you must love being turned inside out. So there's a, like a bunch of blood everywhere, right? Yeah, it, it poured all over the back end where his head is, uh, and kind of it went your way. But yeah, there's a lot of blood. Okay. Is there any kind of footprints or anything? No. But I mean, you can do an investigation. There's nothing immediately obvious with the outer roll. And I do have my keen senses or acute sense. You're cute. Oh, I don't see shit. Uh, negative three success levels. Uh, so you're actually going to uh, get your hand in the blood and kind of get it on your clothes and stuff when you're looking. You kind of, like, put your hand down when you shouldn't have. Oh, man. Ew. Am I already covered in blood self? Uh, the, uh, the bodyguard a- will walk over. He put his clothes on uh, first. But he'll walk over. He has put his sword away, but he's checking the wounds, too. It's a I'm really go. bad idea. I'm, I'm going to go check uh, the witch hunter's room. Sam, I was going to say, I'm going to go start knocking on doors and make sure everybody's okay. So I, I'm going to go with you, Till. Hold up. Let me come. Hold up. Don't go without me. I don't want to stay uh, here with that bodyguard. He's rude. <laughs> I'll draw my axe as well. Uh, you guys you guys charge over to the, the last door on the right uh, as you overheard the innkeeper say. And you start pounding on it. Um <clears throat> You'll hear the sound of alarm and a clatter from within. He'll unlock the door, um, and you'll be met in the face with a flintlock pistol. I'm going to roll a cool check. All right. (laughs) You keep your calm with the gun pointed squarely between your eyes. Say, witch hunter. Why don't you put that gun down and come check out this dead body by the hearth? Is your witch still bound? He'll throw the door open the rest of the way, and you can see illuminated by candlelight uh, his prisoner bolted to the floor. There's a dead body out in the hearth that appears to have been turned inside out and eviscerated. His guts spill on the table and onto the floor. Blood soaked right through my tent and onto mine and my friend Till Roar's face. This seems like something perhaps you'd be interested in. His his eyes definitely widen a little bit, uh, but he uh, keeps his cool as well. He'll put his pistol down and un unpull back the trigger or the ha- the hammer. And <laughs> <laughs> he'll close the door and he'll put on some clothes. Uh, Right before he closes the door, um, so we'll glare at the witch and uh, mutter, is this your doing? She'll look at you, her eyes uh, full of tears. and I will not meet her eyes. I will not meet her eyes. Probably not. But I will spit on the ground and then walk away. Till doesn't like witches. Uh, No one does, though, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Which is actually uh, killed my family when I was young. <laughs> Who raised you after that happened? Uh, well, it, oddly enough, it was a, a little band of witches after that. Hmm. Yeah, then that whole family of witches was slain by witches in the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was similarly. Uh, my family was killed by wolves. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I was killed by dirty were rats. Oh no! <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he'll he'll don some clothes quickly and he'll head on out uh, with his gun still in hand, and he'll come check it out. <laughs> Worth. 
Did someone make their name Dirty Wear Rats? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I called him out. My family was killed by Dirty Wear Rats. He said, <laughs> oh, That's funny. Uh, and then not... I was raised by Dirty Wear Rats. And they is were he... killed by wolves and witches in the night. He's not the Beast Man guy, is it? I don't know if he's the Beast Man guy. I figured the Beast Man guy would have come in and said, Hey, I'm, I'm the, the Beast, Beast Man, Man guy. <laughs> Unleash a Beast Man on your party right now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to. It's going to be great. Uh, but yeah. He so says it is. Oh no, maybe oh. it is the Beast Man guy. You're the Beast Man oh, guy? No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, you know what that Please. means. Please. 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 <laughs> I hope it really is. Uh, so, as you head out to check on. Man, I didn't have this ready, you fucks. Oh, I think maybe it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, that, that's going to be him, man. That's actually him? Yeah, he got the app just for us, just to show up, just so you would sick a full-grown beast man on us. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Give me a second, I've got to, I've got to install it on my phone." And yes, yeah, sure enough, here he is. Holy and, crap, uh, that's commitment, well, man. Fuck us! What a good this is through the glass of the tavern or what? Man, people on people on Reddit are fucking different, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking different, bro. He's straight up built he's like, different. He's like, fuck you, here comes a beast man, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Alright, so as you head out uh, into the, the main room with the witch hunter in tow, um, the bodyguard is checking out the corpse. The witch hunter will approach it, and he'll look at the wound. Sharp blade did this, it did. Uh, right across the, the belly. I look around for the lumberjack. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's awake. Everyone's awake now, and you everyone's see, accounted for. You see everyone. Uh, the okay. nobles have peeked their heads out of their room. The uh, innkeeper and the barmaid are awake. Everybody is here. Well, maybe he disemboweled himself and then slit his own throat in silence in the night. That's <laughs> my it's my second working theory. <laughs> And so, just because I did promise, um, at that, the Ugh. door kicks it. <laughs> and Boom! An in charge, two full grown beast men, children oh, of oh. chaos. Oh no! That's not one beast man, that's two! Not one! <laughs> uh, yeah, but you, there, there's multiple combatants in here, so I wanted to make it more fun. Okay, okay, alright, that's right, okay. I fucking draw my dagger, I guess. Let's get after it. Swiggity spooky. I'm going to get that booty. Hey, thanks for showing up, man. It means a lot. <laughs> it does. It means a lot to all of us. And... Uh, Dude, let's let's see. We roll new characters. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if this fits the doomed way that I died. Let's see. See, I'm so happy that I did a lot of prep for this session because I have all the combatant people in the room statted. Yeah, it's very good. So, uh, the merchant and the nobles flail their arms up in the air, and pretty much everybody that's not fighting screams and runs away. Does that include me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it can, it can, it can, it, absolutely. It might. Give me, give me a bit, maybe. They'll let, uh, but both the beastmen will let out a mighty, bah! an abyssal braying sound emerges as they levy their weapons and charge uh everybody who is involved give me your initiatives okay sapphat oh i got a sapphat oh, that, was, that was gary okay yeah buddy there we go. Ooh, 16. Looking good, Kayvon. Oh. Thanks, guy. Okay. Lock horns with me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Let's see. Where is everybody? Here they are. And then the gores. Sixes. 
Alrighty. So. <laughs> Can't believe he showed up. <laughs> uh, okay, that's why it's taking so long to set up. I wa I didn't have Beast Man planned for the today. Uh, who could have? Who could? Dirty Wear Rats had Beast Man planned for today. That motherfucker, man. Oh man. Honestly, dude, you're a fucking hero. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you're the first guy to you're the first guy to summon monsters against me in any tabletop game I've ever played. <laughs> That's fair. No outside source has ever summoned monsters on me. So, uh, so the smaller of the two gores will rear up and charge straight in. Uh, he comes right at you guys, and then it is uh, Till's turn. You're first. All right. Um, I would like to take a sidestep to initiate a flank on this dude. Okay. Well, I say dude. We all know he's not a dude. Give me uh, either like a dodge or some sort of agility check. Or <laughs> athletics or something, you know. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I'll throw you a dodge. I'm not happy about it. Told you I'm not happy about it. Ooh, that's a good dodge. Uh, you'll try. Um, wait, you'll... wait, hold on. I'm gonna spend a point to reroll that. I don't want to fail by three. What what point are you spending? Uh, a fate point, right? A fortune point. Fortune. Yeah. I'll mark that now. I also One. I have all that stuff ready to go. I'm a little sticky now. I'm very organized today. I'm Nobody. proud of myself. I'm proud of you, man. Oh, thanks, man. What? There we go. Throw them bones, Cameron. Talk about that double O six, bro. Oh, bro, bro you go in. Like you go in and you sidestep right under his weapon, and you get right alongside him, slow mo style. What do you do? I'll swing with my hand axe. Alrighty. He will there oppose you. He would try. I fucking dodged his shit. <laughs> uh, modifiers? Uh, I'll give you plus 20 because you are uh, flanking. Cool. Uh oh. Minus two success levels? Uh, yeah. Uh oh. Uh, so you both got minus two success levels. Okay. Um. So roll off. During yeah, let's re-roll. All right. Keep your keep your advantage though. It's easier dun, just to re-roll. That and that. Fucking beast, damn. damn. Uh, so he gains an advantage. Uh, but you still have your other weapon if you so choose. You're gonna use your offhand. Uh, yeah, it's minus twenty to use that, right? Go ahead and cancel it out because of your uh, flank. So it's gonna be a normal attack. Yeah. Got him this time. I got him this time. Yeah, baby. Good roll. Excellent. Man. All right. So he actually, yeah, he got negative success levels. So you do hit him with your offhand. Awesome. Plunging your dagger straight into where you assume his kidney is. Uh, you strike a <laughs> mighty blow, dealing, what, five damage? Uh, yeah, five. It's not bad. Uh, and he loses his advantage that he had gained. And now you have an advantage. In a primordial language, the beast man screams in your face. If only you could speak his language, you would know he says, Block or die! Dodging is for elves! <laughs> Bro, this dude really in here role-playing my bad guys. Here, I'm going to put this right in front of me so I can see everything he says. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh uh, God, I don't even. This is uh, this is great. I'm so happy right now. Uh, he is going to uh, dirty wear rats is going to attack you back. <laughs> the, the beast man's name. <clears throat> if you had been formally introduced, you would have learned as dirty wear rats. How do you defend <laughs> yourself? Uh, with weapon. Do I add my advantage? Uh, yes. So plus ten, right? From yeah, he's swinging around awkwardly to hit you uh, next to him. So plus, uh, no, it's plus twenty. But oh well. Oh my god! I don't even need that, shit. Even need that shit. Go, my freeze dirty wear rats. He Cut rolled, his arm off. He rolled a fucking nine. I thought he hit you for sure. He rolled a nine. He rolled a nine. He was about to cream your fucking corn, bro. Uh, well, our- that's actually um, plus five success levels because I didn't add the full twenty modifier. Yeah. So no, you, and it's also a crit, which means yeah, yeah, uh, that you, um, what do you call it? Uh, I, I you get hit to him. attack him. Back, right? Yeah, you get to do uh, a wound. That's. 10? So what you're, what you're going to do is you're going to roll again, and we're going to use that to determine... Okay. Uh, oh. We're going to use that to determine where you hit him. But it says right there, left arm. Uh, with crits, you're supposed to re-roll. Okay. Modifiers? Uh, no, it's because it doesn't matter, really. Okay. Body? A body crit. Oh, that's right, because the first one shows that you hit, and then you can't switch the dice on a crit. Yeah, because you, you usually doubles. switch the dice to find the hit location. But since you can't do that on a oh, crit... Oh, wait, actually, so you didn't roll doubles. You got uh, the yeah, low You got the low end crit, which is mm-hmm. slightly different. <laughs> we can keep the left arm. We can keep the left yeah. arm. Yeah. I was a little yeah. confused by that, but yeah. So yeah, for anybody following along, whenever you roll a crit, uh, the, the body location to the hit is like based on the unit's number on the dice, not the tens unit. And so usually when you crit, it's 11, 22, 34, 4, 33, 44. It's all doubles. So you can't flip the dice on a double. So you re-roll to see your hit location. Correct. But Kayvon, Till Roar, rolled a two, which is called a low-end crit. He doesn't didn't roll doubles, there so it does have a hit location. That hit location is the left arm, and now we're back in business, right? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I think I might have bought enough time for Jahan to find what he needed to find You in his did. Book. Thank you very much. All right, so no go ahead and roll a D100, just a flat D100 for me. Flat 100. God, I hope you roll high. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Wrenched arm. His arm is almost pulled out of the socket. He drops whatever is held in the associated hand. The arm is useless for 1d10 rounds. Yeah, suck it, beast man! So, yeah, you stab him. Uh, Also, that damage is going to hit, too. uh, Three rounds. You only hit when you crit on a, 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 a... What do you call it? A retaliation attack. But... Yeah, so he drops his weapon as you fuck up his arm with your dagger. Mm-hmm. <sighs> um, yeah, and then it is the witch hunter's turn. You you drew yeah. a lot of blood there, Kayvon. I set up this flank for this witch hunter. Let's see what he can do. Come on, witch hunter. Yeah. The witch it. hunter levies his pistol. loses his head. He blows the gore's head clean off. <laughs> this, I mean, he's, he's very negative on wounds, so I'm going to go ahead and yeah, say Yeah, that's one beast, man! He got shot right in the face. Uh, well, that was a cool turn, Mr. Witch Hunter. I was hoping he wasn't going to be a bitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, man, you, the dice don't lie. You feel somebody saddle up next to you, uh, it's the bodyguard, and he just kind of holds a defensive per- a position on your flank. And it is then Morgan Fierce's turn. Uh, I charge across the room, slide across the table, 
spring off and stab this beast man right in his center mass, hopefully his chest. The, the dead one? No, the uh, there's oh, one living one. Yeah, right. yeah no, I gotta I charge across the room. No, not the dead one, but that is par for the course, admittedly. Yeah, and you did a cold <laughs> shot, but the dice determined. Yeah, well, that's that's why I was gonna say hit him in the throat, and I was like, I guess I'll just aim for center mass. <laughs> yeah, who knows? The yeah, dice always don't center lie. mass. Always center mass. Let's see. Where did the dice tell me I hit? Center mass! Holy Just like shit. I hit. Oh, holy shit. You guys jump with your off rolls the table today. I plunk my dagger into his chest. You get out of my face, you fucking beast, man. You, do. you hit him for eight damage. What's up? So yeah, you jump, you stick your dagger into his chest, and you just like rip the sail all the way down. It just he, you can you expose his peck, all that. Yeah, now they roll well. Yeah, exactly. Dirty wear rats. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they rolled like shit all last game. Oh man. If only he knew, dude. We botched so many fucking times. Yeah, we threw so we many critical roll. failures. What did we? Th- we threw five or six critical failures last time we played. I think it was five for real. Uh, that was then, crazy. This uh, the gore you just hurt. He's going to swing his two-handed beast of a weapon at you. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> How do you defend, sir? You know. 10 out of 10 times I would tell you I'd dodge, but there's just something about this combat that makes me feel like I need to try to hold back this two-handed blow with my dagger. <laughs> do I have an advantage from hitting him last round? Uh, Yeah, you do, but that doesn't affect uh, defending. To counter? Okay. Actually, it probably does. So give yourself a plus 10. You do have an advantage. I, for, I keep forgetting. That's new to me. So I already clicked the thing, but it didn't pop up. So let me try again. And yeah. I'll give myself the plus 10 this time. Yeah, give yourself the plus Roll. 10 this time. Boom. Be kind to yourself. That's the hey, man. Just let the dungeon master oh, be kind. Damn. Critical success! Damn. 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 Dick beast, man! Oh, the low end, too. God. This is not double. Oh, he God, he God, had a plus two God, success God, level. God, yes. oh, oh, give it to him. This oh, is the right arm. Yes, right arm, baby. Roll a D100. <sighs> give it to me, Gary. Actually, give it to me. Actually, with that damage, uh, so you eviscerate, you, you just slash off his arm and like you just cut it off somehow with a dagger. You just cut his arm off, and he just shoots shoots blood everywhere, destroying your entire crime scene. <laughs> and he flops to the ground, clutching his arm and braying. I turn, and I look at the lumberjack dead on in the eyes, and I'm like, I, yep. I told you they were 12 feet tall, and I killed two of them! <laughs> with, and with I throw my dagger down, covered in blood, panting. <sighs> with his dying breath, he will turn to you, uh, or he'll he'll say to you in a language you understand. I'll see you on Reddit. <laughs> uh, Till will turn to the jump, lumberjack and uh, kind of go to walk past him and stop and look at him and say, "Now it's five, and then keep walking past him." <laughs> The, the woodsman will stand there kind of dumbfounded with his axe, not having done anything. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, wait. Who killed Greg? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's two full grown. Uh, and people will look at you when you say that, and they'll look at him, and there's just blood everywhere now. Just everywhere. Uh, and the rain is just pouring in through the door, getting everything wet. The broken door. Uh, thanks for your help, everyone. Good good work. Good work, everyone. Y- you well-armed defenders of the rich. Good good work. You'll, you'll see the, uh, the witch hunter reload his pistol. 
And he'll kind of look at both of you with, like, a slightly approving look. Everyone, all the warriors look at you with a little bit more uh, approval now. I can't take my eyes off his gun as he reloads it. I'm all about it. Anybody who sees me knows that I've got a Warhammer Fantasy roleplay boner for that flintlock. I can't wait to get black powder weapons. He'll be cleaning his gun. He'll see you eye it. He'll be like, you like that, huh? Absolutely I do. That's more my speed, you see. I might be fast as lightning and deadly as all get out with this dagger, but I feel like I'll be three, four, five times more fatal with a ballistic weapon. <laughs> You have to carry one when you're in my line of work. It's the only it's thing. Fire. It's the only thing that's faster than a witch's hand. <laughs> <laughs> fucking desk pop. He shoots in the fucking <laughs> <laughs> desk pop. <laughs> yeah, so that's one go. <laughs> he, he he hands you a whistle. He says, "Next time you're in trouble, blow this whistle, and someone with a gun will come and help you." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what a good movie. Uh, yeah, so the innkeeper is kind of, like, really upset right now, but he's going to start, like, trying to pull the gore bodies out, and the woodsmen will help him. Uh, they're going to put him outside. Uh, and he'll tell the barmaid to start <laughs> cleaning up the blood. But it's a grisly scene. Uh, they don't touch the human body. Hey. A, a, a innkeep, how much do you pay if I clean up that blood? <laughs> It'd be like, as far as I'm concerned, you can have whatever you want. All right. I walk around behind the bar and start making drinks. <laughs> as you walk along the bar, everyone's okay. eyes follow you. And then mm -hmm. they all watch I you pour drinks. Yep. I pour a shot glass for everybody who fought. The witch hunter so will you, refuse. Witch hunter? Just me and you. Yeah, and the witch hunter refuses. <laughs> <laughs> just three. I bring three over. He says, no, thank you. How about you? Or is this Hill Roar going to take a drink? Uh, After that, yeah. Yeah. Got to have you. Got to calm your nerves after that one. I guess I'm drinking too. Gluck, gluck. I'll put them down <laughs> right in front of everybody. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Dirty Wear Rat's right. You got to watch out for the misfire. That's what I was, explode. That was the desk the desk pop joke I was making as soon as uh, he reloads, misfires <laughs> <laughs> straight into the fucking ceiling, fucking dust comes down. I meant to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a rat in the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> my Kill parents plague. my parents were killed in an alleyway and I swore I'd never use a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and now I'm scared of rats. I dress like a rat at night. <laughs> they call me Rat Man. Oh shit! All I right. think that's already been done, man. Where were we? Where were we? <laughs> uh, yeah. So you're Look, pouring drinks. Uh, body. The woodsman will, ref or the woodsman will accept. The merchant will accept. Uh, the bodyguard and the witch hunter both refuse. I'm looking at dead Greg. Well, I think I think they hauled dead Greg's body out. With... Uh, they left it alone. Oh, they left that. They just took the beastmen out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And people are cleaning up blood and stuff. Uh, but yeah. I'm not super interested in dead Greg. I'm going to be honest. I, I, I did my heavy lifting for the night, baby. I'm just going to kick on back. Let me know if you need me. I'm hey, going to try and sneak a peek at uh, the woodsman's axe and the bodyguard's weapon, everyone's weapon, see if there's any kind of traces of blood or anything. Uh, go ahead and give me a, a perception check. I'll let you do it just regular because you have such good vision. Perception. No modifiers. Ah, uh, no. I don't see shit. Uh, they look uh, from. It's hard to tell in the dim light, and blah blah blah. 
but the room is filled with the scent of blood. Fuck it. I'll ask him outright. Can I see your weapon? Uh, the Axeman will kind of chuckle and be like, sure. And he'll like, he'll put the blade near you. Any signs of blood or anything? Doesn't look like it. It looks like a well-used axe, but doesn't look like it's been used for combat, really. Uh, and same story with the uh, body. He's much more reluctant, uh, but his sword's out already, so he'll just kind of put it closer yeah. to you. Uh, Till Till wouldn't touch either of them um, when offered, but just take a look. Yeah, they're both very. Uh, they're both clean. They neither of them saw combat just now. The only people that have bloody weapons are you two, and. Um, well, no, the witch hunter shot somebody, so no one except you. Um, everybody is in the common room now, but some of them will head back to their rooms. <clears throat> <laughs> well, almost everyone uh, is in the common room. What the fuck? What happened? <laughs> oh, shit. Dirty were rats, man. Yeah. Dirty were rats made me laugh so hard I dropped my phone on the floor. <laughs> 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 I keep warning uh, Jahan, the game master, that if he ever puts warpstone powder in front of me, I'm taking it. Period. Refined warpstone powder. Is, I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what character I'm playing. I'm gonna fucking snort it. I gotta know. I gotta. I gotta know. I gotta. I got to. That's the only choice I've got. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, everybody goes back to their rooms. Uh, everyone that was out here anyways. At one point, you saw everybody. But uh, some of them left when you started pouring drinks. Um, a few moments later, as uh, the rest of everybody else goes back to their rooms, you hear a scream. Uh, from where? Uh, a woman screaming from uh, one of the rooms. Uh, let's go check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, all of you charge over. Um, the couple, the middle-aged couple that were there, the woman is screaming over her dead husband. I don't think he killed Greg either. You can scratch him off the list. <laughs> He's laying in the exact same way. Didn't we just see him? You saw him not that long ago, yeah. I look at the witch hunter. He, he's staring. Oh, yeah, when, come on. What do you make of this? This, this? I'm a peddler, right? I sell wares on the side of the road. I sell, I dabble in information. You know, maybe I'm a bit of a messenger here or there, but this seems more up your alley. Why are there people being turned inside out and disemboweled uh, just a few meters away from us? <laughs> he looks alarmed for a second, and then he charges over to his room. You hear him bust open the door. But then uh, shortly after that, he comes back uh, looking kind of relieved. Uh, well, if you ask me. And he, like, puts his sword under the arms and kind of raises them. Because uh, the body is laying on its back with its head over the side of the bed. Uh, Sprawled eagle with his belly cut open. And a look of excruciating pain on his face. <clears throat> I don't really believe in coincidence. Uh, they are both positioned the same way. It seems ritualistic. <laughs> Are the heads pointed in the same direction? Uh, no. All right. All right. I'm going to cut to the chase. Witch Hunter, do you mind if I talk to your prisoner? Yes. <laughs> well, even with you there, you can, you can be there with a gun on me, a blade on her throat. We need to get to the bottom of this. The second we pull that bit out of her mouth, she'll start spinning spells and falsehoods. I'm... I'm afraid she already is. No, this can't be her. She's bound by iron. Then what followed you here, witch hunter? 
I have no idea. He looks he looks very introspective. Is there a window to this room? Uh, yes. Hey. No, for any like wet footprints from someone coming in or rain splatter or something like that. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, perception check or an investigation. Your choice. Is investigation a thing? Yeah. I don't see it. It might be a specialty skill that you have to like put down yourself. Um, how about an outdoor survival? Would you give me that? Uh, no. <laughs> I only do good in combat. It's my only specialty. Uh, so yeah, you <laughs> are checking out the window, and you open it. You know what? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to re-roll that one, too. Okay, okay. So you're going to use another point. All right. Yeah. Not feeling by no six. I don't like it. Okay, so uh, the window seal is wet, but that's all you can really tell. Um, I'm glad you re-rolled it because you were going to open it <laughs> and let it go, and it was going to fall and shatter. <laughs> and I was going <laughs> to laugh really, really, really hard. Uh, all right. Uh, perhaps we should all be in the same room. I think something's attacking us from outside. The halfling appears with a pipe in his mouth, quite, and he blows bubbles. <laughs> it's him! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the pipe, and there's blood on the edge. <laughs> he looks down in horror. He's like, oh, no. Oh, they found me out. I slit their throats with bubbles, I did. They call me the bubble slicer. The bubbler. I sliced all their throats with bubbles in the night. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so everybody heads back to the, the main room. You gather everyone. Uh, even the nobles come reluctantly at the behest of their bodyguard. Um, but yeah, everybody's here. Let's see. Let's let's go down the list to remind everybody. Uh, at this point, you have learned some more names. Uh, the witch hunter's name is Vogan. Uh, Monty is the bodyguard. Mort is the innkeeper. And then you have uh, Liam and Evelyn uh, Gorskin. They're the nobles. You have... Uh, Oliver, the halfling, Edmund, the merchant, and Greg's dead. Let me cross that guy out. <laughs> uh, Amy, the barmaid, and Maggie Wright, the farmer, now widowed. And then Coda, the woodman, the woodsman. That's everybody in here right now, inc not including the prisoner. <laughs> Uh. No, it's uh sorry, it's uh Gorgasek. Mm, Gorgasek, not 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 Gorskin. Not Forskin, no. My bad. <laughs> it's all right. I I have bad handwriting. We are the Forskin family, known throughout the world for one thing. <clears throat> How do we get this rich? We keep the tips. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's actually a good deal, John. Hey, thanks, man. I stole mm -hmm. it. <laughs> it's not my job. That's all right. That's repurposed, man. Fantastic. Yeah, I repurposed it. All right. This. So we're all in the main room. We're all in the hearth. We're all here together. Uh huh. Is the witch here? Is the witch hunter here? The witch hunter does bring her out, uh, and he like Ooh! Tie, he ties her down behind the bar, so no one has to look at her. But he doesn't want to leave her in the room unattended. Yeah, no, absolutely. I don't want that either. 
I'm going to I'm going to give her an old once over. I'm going to go I'm going to look right at her. I'm just going to look right at her. She looks right back at you. She looks so sad and miserable and pathetic. Is there a there's a I bet she got caught. There's skill for this, right? Can't it's a I can look at her. I can give her a look. I can intuition her. Yes. I want to intuit her. I want to give her the old int into it. Let me see. Let me. I know she looks sad, but looking sad is only half the battle. Yeah. Is absolutely. she sad? Ooh, ooh, failed by one. Uh, I mean, she looks sad, but it could be because she's, you know, in irons. It's hard to tell why. Hmm. You can spend a fate point. If I spend a fate point, can I also get a plus one instead of a reroll? Isn't that the other option? I have. Is that a thing? Rules written oh. out. Uh, let's see. I think, I think so. Reroll. Plus. Yeah, plus yeah, one I success level that. per spent. Yeah, let me do that. I'll just take the the plus one and and uh, I'll pass. Yeah. Uh, so let me mark that real quick. Same over here. It's um, a fortune point, right? Yeah, you spent a fortune. Yeah, not a fate. Whoops. Don't forget, if you don't use them, you lose them. So spend them all this in, uh, this session. Um, but yeah, so that brings your success level to zero, which is a pass. Um, she seems genuinely sad and, like, confused and, like, just not very happy. You don't see her snickering at your misfortune, you know, nothing like that. Uh I don't see her you. like muttering or or glaring or trying to do any kind of dark craftery. She instead just kind of seems like a scared as fuck fourteen year old girl. Yeah, but something about her yeah, definitely okay. gives you the creeps. Okay, okay, so there is something spooky about her. Something. Something. Just can't quite place my finger can't on it. Okay. Quite okay. Place your finger on it. Very good. <laughs> oh man. Um The witch hunter I'm take, is I'm gonna take a peeps outside. Like you're gonna go look outside? I'm not going to step outside, but I'm gonna go look outside. I'm gonna look out the windows, I'm gonna look out the busted down door. I'm, I'm just gonna take a look see, see what to look. Uh when you approach the door, the innkeeper and um, Coda are working to prop it up and like put like a table in front of it to kind of make a makeshift barricade. All right, that's up. fine. But there is another okay. door. There's the door to the stables. Uh, but that doesn't go like outside, does it? Yeah. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, I'll open it. Peeps a look. Look, looks a peep. Um, see if I can see anything at all. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's it uh it's complete. It's pitch black. <coughs> what an abysmal roll! It's pitch black. That explains the roll. A minus five success level. You, Very you good, Kate. You pull you pull a uh, Morgan from last session, and you trip and you hit your face on the card. <laughs> Uh, uh, and while you're there on the ground, uh, you find yourself in something sticky. I'm not in the stable. I didn't go out to the stable. Oh, well, then you don't find yourself I'm in anything like... sticky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, no, with that, with that failure, though, you tripped. Mm -hmm. And so now you're, you're out in the stable. The stable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so now you do feel something sticky. <laughs> Gross. Is it like poop sticky or is it like blood sticky? Uh, it's like liquidy. It's kind of oh, warm. It's like poopy blood sticky. Well, um, I'm going to get up and go back inside. Uh, as you prop yourself up, uh, as you try to bring yourself to your feet, uh, you put your hands on something and it's big and it's laying there on the ground. Uh, and it's not moving. 
like a dead horse. You know, now that you mention it, it does feel <laughs> an awful lot like a dead horse. <clears throat> cool. You come back in, uh, and once you're mm-hmm. in the light, you can see that you're all covered in blood now. Again? Like, more so, yeah. It got on, like, your like, knees, like on your pants. Hair. Yeah. Oh, my God! Yeah. Are you okay? I'm not. You look looking okay. terrible. You look like you... Did you kill? Did you kill a horse? You look like I you did. just came from killing a horse. I didn't kill them, but they are dead. <sighs> the They're bodyguard. Someone. The bodyguard will one. look alarmed at this, and he'll pull a um, a log out of the fire, and he'll head out to the to the fucking stables, and he'll be like, "Oh my god." I'll go with them. A few other people go out to, uh, namely the witch hunter and Morgan, if he feels like it. Uh, yeah, I mean we're all sticking together now, right? Just so nobody gets gets clapped. I mean, you're doing your best, uh, but yeah. Okay. Horses... Can I stand in the hallway and keep an eye on the left over by the stables and an eye on the right on the main room? Can well, I stand? It's, really, it's of... just a door that goes straight from the main room to the stables. Oh, okay, so that's not so far. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, but yeah, so at, now that it's illuminated, you guys can see just fine, and there are dead horses. Yeah, all the horses are dead. Their, their uh, throats are slit. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, uh, same kind of sharp blade throat slit. Yeah. We got dinner for tomorrow? Now that's an optimistic way of looking at things. Very good, Till. You've come a long way. Also, we can scratch the horses off the list of possible murderers. Um, the bodyguard will be checking the. He'll be patting the horses almost sentimentally, you know. But uh, the witch hunter, the witch off. hunter, will look at you like you're crazy. This is no time for joking. Something doesn't want us leaving here. Something doesn't oh, this, want us. This, this is what that means? I was confused. Yeah. But now it makes sense. I've been doing this a long time. I don't believe in coincidence. He says about the murdered horses. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> You kind of backed me into a corner there, you dickhead. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Role played you right up against the wall. You really did, you fucker. Uh, <clears throat> two more beast men. Emer- no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to the innkeeper and ask if there's a place where I can clean up. Uh, he'll, he'll say in the stable there's a bucket. Of course there is. <sighs> you go out there. Uh, everyone slowly trickles back in. I'm not going to be out there alone. Uh, someone will stay with you. We'll say... All right. I'll just let Morgan do it. <clears throat> uh, but just, <laughs> just then when you uh, walk out... Boom! Big old bolt of lightning. Sounded so close. <laughs> It shakes. Does it light your insects? Does it light anything up in the darkness? Uh, yeah, probably. You swear you see something. Can I in the make rain. a? Like, yeah. Do I? What do I see? Can I decipher it? Do I have time? Can I figure it out? What is that? What is that thing? Go ahead. Whatever you want to roll. Oh, very close. Uh. It's there, I will it's use gone. It could have been a one. tree. Oh, you're going to use a what? Yeah, I'll use another one of my tasty fortune points. Okay. I just missed it by fucking barely anything. I want that. I want to know what the fuck that thing is. You tell me. You tell me what it is. You tell me what I think At it is. At first, you see somebody standing there. Looking. But then, you realize it was just a tree. 
but you you notice that you're very on edge. There is somebody out there in the storm. You 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 can't shake the feeling that someone's watching you. There's somebody out there in the storm. There's somebody out there in the storm. Hey, witch hunter. Hey, hey, witch hunter. Hey, bodyguard. There's somebody out there in the storm. The the bodyguard <laughs> doesn't come. He's staying with the nobles, but uh, the witch hunter will come out. He'll go stand at the edge of the uh, at the edge of the doorway to the outside. Uh, he'll get wet, but he'll be looking out. He was just I'm there be beyond that tree. Morgan. I'm going to point to the witch hunter's coin purse. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, gosh, a chance. Oh, shit. Let me see if I even want to do this. This is such a bad idea. <laughs> oh, this is such a bad idea. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. You can't make me do it, and I'm not going to do it. Until quickly wash his arms and his face. The clothes will have to wait till later. You point to the pistol. You point to the coin purse, and I look at the pistol. Yeah, I bet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He'll look around. There's nothing here. <clears throat> well, of course not. It's dark and rainy. He was out there. If I still saw him, I would have charged over there and got him. He's He vanished in a stroke of lightning. You have to believe me. <laughs> Just then... Uh, the background is illuminated by another bright flash. And something indeed is standing behind the witch hunter. Oh, shit! And just like that, I move. they're both gone. Oh, fuck. Alright. Finish washing up my hands and my face. Alright, Morgan, you Let's go in. I don't like this place. You know this is gonna look like we killed the witch hunter, right? <laughs> Should we just leave? You just want to go? You just want to get out of here? It's really gonna look like we and without the witch hunter. That's just a bunch of dead bodies in there waiting to be slashed. We gotta get out of here. There's something in there picking everybody off. Let it stay. Let's get out of here. Let them get picked off. Everyone's dying Morgan. inside. Mor Morgan. Morgan. Morgan, what witch hunter? Just completely fucking with Morgan at this point. The, the witch hunter who was just here in front of us. The witch hunter with the pistol? Uh, it's, you, you can roll to try and bullshit him, uh, but otherwise he knows you're kidding. Is it entertain? Uh, you can do you can do acting or you can do uh, just a fellowship. I don't have acting. I think it's entertain. Entertain can work, yeah. They do have it set up as a <clears throat> a lie skill, so that's Any his. Modifier? Fucking fire! You're actually supposed to roll intuition, but. Oh, I thought Me? Gary. I thought Gary rolled. Yeah, Gary, you roll intuition, and then he rolls his lie. Okay. Any modifiers? Any no modifiers. Intuition. <laughs> Man, a fucking failure, huh? Uh, so you can't. <laughs> you can't even get the words out without laughing. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, not not laughing. It's um, just utter fear, like just cracks and breaks my voice. Like Morgan, it's, uh, what? Uh, let's get back inside. He tries to ease the tension with a joke, but yeah, it doesn't work. If anything, we both, it makes well, worse. with that response, we both duck back inside because I've never seen Till Roar show any fear so far. Um, people will look at you as you come back in. Um, Monty. We didn't kill the witch hunter, but he is gone. Where there is was he? a lightning. There, there was start. a light. There was a. There was a. There was a lightning, and I saw a guy behind a tree. And then I said, "Hey, witch hunter, did you see that guy behind the tree?" And he said, 
there's no guy behind the tree, and then lightning, and then the witch hunter and the guy behind the tree were there for a moment and then gone forever. You... So I suspect we'll find the witch hunter's body broken in half, disemboweled, screaming and looking upwards. You can uh, give me a charm check to make sure they don't turn against you. Can I assist him? Yeah, yeah actually. Um, I think you... Are you trained with charm? I am. Did you take the advance yeah. in charm? Good. That gives me a plus yeah, you have to have an right? advance, and then, yeah, you roll... Uh, I think you just give him plus 10. Which is a plus zero failure. Uh, so that means that you still fail. They don't fully believe you. But uh, they don't immediately attack you. Uh, the, the bodyguard will push past you and look in the barn. That's alright. You just... He's going to get vanished, too. Um, He'll come back in. Till Till will add, uh, look, we all know that the witch hunter was extremely capable. Do you think either of us could have dispatched him without him at least firing a shot that you all would have heard? And Who's gone. in charge of the witch now? Oh. Thank you for volunteering, Morgan. Ah! Uh, where am I even supposed to take a witch? I don't even know what to do besides burn them. And what if she cast a spell on me? He said, if you unbind her hands, she'll cast magic. And if you take the, the bit out of her mouth, she'll curse you and turn you into a newt. He, he didn't say that part. Well, he alluded to it. All right, I'll give you that. But that just means we won't unbind her. And we won't take the bit out of her mouth. Oh, thank God you said we. It sounds like you're going to take care of the heavy lifting. <clears throat> I'll turn to the bodyguard. The uh, You'll see Coda go behind the bar and drag the witch out from behind the bar. I say we just cut off her head and be done with it. It's not a bad idea. Well, hold on. What if whatever's out there just wants her? All the more reason to dispatch her immediately. Right. I don't think that's a good reason to give a witch to a monster. That seems like a like an old... You know, like that wouldn't have gone very well. Plus, she was left in her room while we fought the beast men, and someone broke in and killed the nobleman, but not the witch. If they wanted the witch, they could have got her. Yeah, it was the farmer. Well, uh, both the nobles are still alive. Oh, that's right. Sorry, the farmer. You're good. Hmm. Perhaps it's something she summoned, or, like I said, something that followed them here. It's a shame the witch hunter couldn't be of more help before he left so abruptly. What's the, uh, what's the, the god's name? Sigmar? Sigmar. Sigmar. Oh, Sigmar, forgive me. I have a bad shit crazy idea. They'll all look at you. <laughs> Listening. So intently. it's safe to assume whatever's out there doesn't want her. That means her life is in as much danger as we are. Right? Wait, what? If it's if we can assume that whatever's out there doesn't want her then her life is in as much danger as all of ours. Or less. Because it could have killed her already. It also could have taken her when she was left alone in the room. So she is safe. And if she is a witch, then she can help us fight it. Unless it's evil too, and then they team up to give us the witchy spooky business. Are you mad? We can't let a witch go free. That's what I'm saying. Go free. 
The second you unbind her, she'll curse us all. That's and what he said. She needs to fight the monster. It's probably her child or something. And for the first time, her father, Till, would make eye contact with this witch. It was a little horrible flutter in fear and anticipation because he knows he's about to be petrified into a stone statue. And he'll look at her, lock eyes, and say, Well, you're dead. Okay. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> uh, lock eyes and say, But she knows that with everyone, we have a fighting chance. What? Which, do you know how to stop whatever is out there? She looks really scared, and she doesn't know what's going on. She's crying. Uh, she doesn't seem to be aware of the situation fully. She sees the bodies, uh, but she doesn't know. She doesn't see. It doesn't ring any bells to her. But then, uh, but then she'll look up and she'll start staring across the room. And as she does, uh, the fireplace will kind of explode. Boom! <laughs> You're all blown back, and all the lights blow out. Um. You fucking witch! Where is she? You can't tell, the lights are out. I'll light a torch then. Alrighty. Uh, so yeah, you, you spark up a torch so you can see. Um, everybody's on the ground. It's hard to tell. There's a lot of smoke in the air. It looks like somebody threw like black powder in the fireplace. It's uh, uh, There was an explosion from the hearth. Um, some people are hurt. Uh, but you don't... <laughs> You don't see her immediately. I'm going to search for her. I'll start getting some other candles and lights up now. Morgan, what fell in the hearth? Sounded like gunpowder. Go look. All right. I go over to investigate the hearth. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me uh, some sort of check here. Let's see. Some sort of hearth checking check? Yeah, some sort of investigation, intelligence, maybe. I'm trained in hearth checking. Perception, I used perhaps. To be a, I used to be a chimney sweep. How do you feel about an 88? Is you're, that good? You're searching around in the thing for clues, and then your eye gets itchy. And you rub your face, and now your eyes are full of ash. You now, you now have the blinded condition until you wash your face. I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything in that hearth. I think it's just a wood popped. You fumble around looking for wood. something to clean your face off with. Uh, how far uh, are you going to go look in the rooms? Um... I will avenge. Uh, all right, so she's not where she was. I'll look behind the bar first. Um, and then are any of the doors open? The door behind the bar is that goes into the cellar. God damn it, it's always the cellar. Fuck you, Jahan. <laughs> uh Wait, she had uh, bleeding feet. Uh, are there bloody footprints anywhere? Uh, I mean, so no one really cleaned up behind the bar. So there's like Goatman blood everywhere still. 
But maybe um, there are feet prints back there. But it's hard to tell if she was coming or going because that's where she was. Feather. <laughs> sure hope there aren't any beast men down there. <laughs> <laughs> You get down there and two beast men tear through the wall. Uh, she went this way. I need backup. I'll start to head towards the cellar. <clears throat> the bodyguard will say, I have to stay up here with my charges. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. That's fine. I'll go. No problem. I'll take care of it. Coda. I'll come too. Which? Oh, fucking bitch. Guard, I suggest you check the rooms to make sure she didn't slip past us that way. He'll be helping uh, the nobles to their feet, cleaning them off. He'll be like, yeah, I'll check when I get a chance. Uh, Oliver will be getting up too. And he'll be like, I'll go look. <laughs> you see him pull out uh, a, a gun that's a little too big for him. Uh, like the witch hunter's gun? No, not specifically the witch hunter's gun. All right. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't describe it, but the you would notice because his gun was pretty ornate. the The flintlock part looked like Sigmar's hammer. Okay. Oh fuck yeah! It was fucking sweet. Yeah, that's uh, but yeah. So it looks like it's the three of you heading down to the cellar. Yep. All right, let's go. I'm in second. The board flexes beneath your weight. <laughs> Great, that's a great point. I'm gonna go ahead and roll stealth. <laughs> go ahead. All right. <clears throat> if we're sneaking. I mean, I know there's only one door in, but maybe they'll stab you instead. Motherfucker of failure. All right. Like as <laughs> as you're I'm trying to, to sneak, um, you try to figure out where the stairs are squeakiest by squeaking them. <laughs> Wait, we can we can avoid the squeaky spots. Here, hold on. Let me just make sure we avoid all the squeaky spots. And then you're like, yep, that's squeaky. Yep, that's squeaky. That's squeaky, too. <laughs> and then Coda comes barreling down the stairs behind you. <laughs> One step breaks. Dust flies up. But yeah, uh, the cellar <laughs> is... Uh, it's a pretty big cellar. There's uh, a couple of wine racks... Uh, some granary bins, you know, food, drinks, kegs, supplies. Coda, be a doll and bar that door behind you. He looks at you. Really? He, he sounds. He sounds kind of scared. <laughs> I don't want the witch getting back up there and killing all the civilians. Wouldn't she just be able to lift the bar back up? And which time I could stab her in the back with my dagger. I just don't want her giving us the old slip around. If you say so, then he'll throw the latch down. And then me and Till kill him too, like we've killed everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I'd be happy, I guess. But <laughs> got him. That's another one off the list. Yeah, we me. know he's not one of the killers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So we thoroughly. But no, you don't. This. He could have done it, and then you killed him. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you're down there. It's dank and wet. Oh, hell yeah. It's dank as shit down here. Uh, you feel something crawl on your shoulder. 
Ugh. I mm-hmm. instinctively reflect because reflexively slap it off. You slap yeah. it, Ugh. and a spider goes flying off your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Off into mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> nope, none of that happened. Ah! It wasn't a spider; it was a six-legged insect. There you go. It was. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. There you go. A beetle of some sort. And there then two it's... more legs unfurrow. Oh, oh no, and then two <laughs> more. It, two more. It's got ten legs it, now. Ten then, legs. Oh, okay. Now, now for those talking. of you that don't know, K1 is a little arachnophobic. So. That's right. Just set in the mood, baby. Just set in the mood. <laughs> but yeah, fear definitely grips your hearts as you enter the cellar. It's cold. It's dark. And you can hear the rhythmic drip from the rain coming in from outside through some means. Alright. Let's start searching. Get out of here as quick as possible. Go ahead and give me uh, some sort of check here. I guess I can, I can look at your character sheets, can't I? Yep. Let's see. Ooh, I found really all of the things. Look at all him go. Of them. I guess investigation really is. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Baby cakes. We don't want to be down here. Dice don't lie. Let's see. So you did the perception and I did a charm. Oh, shit. so my charm is just to talk and see if I can talk her out of her hiding place and coax her. And then Kayvon got a critical success on his perception check. Uh, yeah, when you say uh, that, uh, you hear, mm, mm, mm. and then with your critical success, uh, Tilroar rounds the corner to find the witch hunter bound to the ceiling without his shirt on, all cut hmm. to ribbons and bleeding. Uh, um, <laughs> he's bound to the ceiling? Yeah, by like a rope. Like, like this. Ragnarok spider. Mm, okay. Mm-mm. Fuck <laughs> off, dirty wear rats. You're the bad person and no one likes you. <laughs> you nasty old freak. Uh, God damn it. <clears throat> um Yeah, so we're gonna cut him down. Uh yeah, so you cut him down. Uh but with your check, uh you do notice some clues. Oh, that is cool. Finally. <laughs> you finally find some clues. Uh, yeah. You see footprints. Um, whoever it was. Average feet. Um, wearing shoes. You see them right next to where, uh, the rope was tied to the wall. And as you continue to check, you see, uh, near the door that leads outside because there is one from the cellar um, you see something snagged on a nail and it's a bit of fiber but since you have a critical success and you have enhanced vision you see it clear as day it's a sort of it's a it's a finer kind of fiber uh Sort of like a blue or a purple. Someone upstairs was dressed like that. Hmm, were they? Someone upstairs was down here. Hmm. Who who was dressed in that? Only one person was wearing bluish clothing. And it was... The merchant. Um. Dakota, they're not safe up there. Go help. Oh, no. <laughs> and I will quickly... He'll trudge up the stairs. Let the, uh... You hear him yell, You're not safe! I don't know why! <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Get the witch hunter down. Okay. 
So now that our characters are starting to put two and two together with the fiber, uh, can I recall my memory that the, the, the character I saw by the tree, was it the merchant? Now that things are starting to mix up, things starting to make sense to me, or was it probably maybe, maybe not? It was too big. It's too big, okay. Very good, thank you. <clears throat> it couldn't have been him. Uh, but yeah. So the merchant knows something. Whatever I saw in the darkness couldn't have been him, and I promised the merchant wasn't able to rough up the witch hunter. What did witch hunt? Oh, don't, I guess you didn't... Don't worry, whereas They're heading straight for the border princes, so... You know. But yeah, what were you saying, Gary? <clears throat> um, Witch hunter, what did... You obviously didn't get beat up by the merchant... I never saw it. Of course. <laughs> but he's the one that cut me up. Oh, really? Well, we have a witch hunter's word. Let's go arrest him. Also, your your witch is gone. She's gone. We don't know where she's at. He looks uh, concerned, but he's yeah, very, he's very weak and hurt. Uh, I hand him the health potion I got earlier from the halfling. Yep. He'll pop that. Uh, he'll struggle with it, but then you'll see his wounds start to burn and like close up a little bit. <clears throat> it staunches the bleeding, and he stands feeling better. He's like, you have my thanks. Now, let's see if we can figure out what's hurting all these people so I can get a good night's sleep around here. As you go upstairs. Phil uh, will we'll go um, collect the fiber and actually open up that door and take a quick look around. Wait, uh, the outside door? Yeah. Thank you. You push you push it open. It's one of those ones that's like... <coughs> and you look around. You don't see anything. It's very dark. I'll just do one side of it and... Take a quick peek, and then go back down. Still just raining. You get a little All right. I collect the fiber, and then I'm going upstairs. Um, is there a way to lock that door? Uh, yeah, it has a latch on the inside. Yeah, I'm going to lock it. And then uh, head upstairs is the... Um, Witch Hunter doing well enough to walk on his own, or does he need assistance? Uh, he, he can walk on his own. Alright. Now that he has the health he, potion. Does he have any of his gear, his gun, anything? Click, click. He pulls back the hammer as he walks upstairs. Awesome. Alright, so... Upstairs and main priority still to find the witch. You go upstairs, and the halfling's holding her chain. With uh, her on the other end? With her on the other end. All, All right. right. <clears throat> um, and the nobles are cowering in the corner with their bodyguard, uh, yelling at him, telling him to do something and to get them out of here. <laughs> um, You're half right. He should do something. But there's nowhere to go at the moment. Where's the merchant? You see him in the corner. He's sitting there. By the fire. Uh, not really looking at anybody, but he... His head lifts up when you say that. When he turns. Come here. I'm fine where I am. I'm sure you are, but you need to come here. Well, let's just everybody slow their roll. I'm sure we could all handle this like civilized adults. Remember, we were all drinking and relaxing earlier. The, the I suppose witch hunter pushes past you and interrupts you, points his gun. Oh, I was gonna roll a charm. Oh, you can. He can. He can do his shit too. He still does. I'm it. just trying to talk. I'm gonna try to talk everybody down. Get everybody sitting around a table. You know, cooler minds prevail, and I rolled a failure. All right, he pushes past you. <laughs> pushes past you, ignoring your words. He points his gun at the man. 
uh, in the dimly lit room, you can't see him uh, smile. Very I still well. have a torch. It's dimly lit, still. Okay. But uh, I have dark vision. You see his teeth shine. You don't have dark vision. Yes, I do. You have night vision. It's different. I, remember. I can still see with light, yeah, extra you can, light. You can see very well, but it's not the same. I can see him. I can see his face. I can see his stupid, ugly well, face. You see him smile. Yeah, I do. And then everybody's blood runs cold as he draws blood from his own hand and squeezes. And you see a crackle of purple lightning outside. You've never seen anything like it before. And in your mist, you see a form take shape. It's taller than any of you. And it has one bared breast and an arm that is clawed like a crab's. It has chitinous armor over half of it. Half of it is horrid to look upon. And the other half is impossible to look away from. It's so perfect and beautiful. <clears throat> but standing before you, there is what you know in your heart is a manifested demon. And that's when you notice the shimmer in the air. And you look over, and you can see the witch. It's emanating from her. And as the demon walks through that barrier, it goes from being semi-corporeal to fully solid. I fucking turn and scatter behind the bar down the fucking stairs into the goddamn basement. I am so fucking out right now. <laughs> you have no idea how out I am right now. It's not a bad it's not a bad call. I mean, it's definitely terrifying. Uh but yeah, some people give me some initiatives here. Fresh initiative rolls, please. Yeah, man. Let me get them fresh. Let me get that initiative fresh out the grease for you, baby. Ooh. Those I think those are the exact same rolls you both got last time. <laughs> I think you're right. I know I got a seven last time. I don't remember if you got a fourteen or a sixteen, but I definitely rolled a seven. Uh K1 got a sixteen ah. last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh Is it a sixteen my max? It's 1d10 plus those bonuses, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yours is green that. because you rolled the best. His is red because he rolled the worst. <laughs> but just, I just, fucking rolled a one both times. But for the sake of a suspense, let's take a, a five-minute bathroom break. Oh, catch everybody back here in five minutes.
How's everybody enjoying the game so far? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm doing old world <laughs> as best I can. Uh, I think you're referencing the the new stuff they're doing, where uh, Sigmar saves a shiver, a sliver of the mortal realm. But it is, I mean, it is old world. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I do my best with the setting, you know. Old world is best world. Realm gates, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I'm interested. In there, so they're dropping that new Warhammer. Uh, I forget what it's called, like Soul Forge or Soul, uh, Mortal Realm or something, where chaos destroys the world, and Sigmar saves some of it. <laughs> that one looks kind of cool. It's what they're dropping next. And I'm definitely going to check it out. And for those of you on the video game front, they're also making uh, the same company that made Vermintide, Vermintide 2, which is Fat Shark, is making a 40K version. So we can oh. look forward to killing orcs in chaos with chainsaw blades and bolt repeaters sometime soon is that what they're saying uh or is it going to be tyranids oh i just assumed it would be maybe it's tyranids i don't know i just figured it'd be chaos and orcs just because I, it's so much like uh it's so easy for vermintide you know maybe I, not. I think tyranids would be a great enemy for that kind Fuck of yeah, gameplay dude. Mm. Tyranids, that's that i never played i never bought armies i never painted but if i did the one i was interested was tyranids they were so cool looking every time i saw them at the store they i'd always cool. go through It's Nurgle. He says it's Nurgle. Fuck yes! It's Nurgle. Oh shit. Just like Vermintide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fucking so stiff. Fucking oh yeah, man, I'll definitely hit you up with some questions later. Definitely. Fuck yeah, man. It sounds fun, man. I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to play it. Uh. I mean, me and Gary played Varmintide the other day. So, Kayvon. Kayvon's I played first. Chaos 40k Tabletop and Nurgle. Nurgle were my boys. I still have them. I have... Oh, yeah. I, have, I gave you my arms. Yeah, you did give me your arms. I have four Warhammer armies right now. I have four. Four? I have Chaos Space Marines, Space Marines, uh, Dark Eldar, and Tau. Where'd you get the Space Marines? Alan gave me his old shit. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, two, all right. I'm just writing down the order. But, Kayvon, you're first. Mr. Roar. Uh, the oh. demon walks slowly and kind of saunters seductively. Um, 
Like, as horrific as its right side is, its left side is fucking sexy. Like, you want to <laughs> fuck that thing, and I'm not kidding. You actually want to have sex with that demon. And I'm not going to stop you. Oh, man. I'm trying to get into Blood Bowl. I do not want to go first. You, I mean, you can always say that you go later. But you're not going to like who goes after you. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure the demon goes next, but I don't want to be the focus of its attack if I go first. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I mean, you can always go into dodge mode. <sighs> Dodge sucks, though. You get plus 20. Yeah, I think. But you're also not the closest person to it. Alright. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good call there, where we're at. Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> Although that is, yeah, that was meant to be a dead giveaway. I, I I thought about using the Zinch Flamers, but I didn't want to use Demons with Flamethrowers on you guys in Session 2. So. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get up in the mix. Mix up the mix. Mix up the match. Swing with my hand axe. You attack it? Trying to do a leg sweep. Bro, I don't... I give up, man. You fucking hit it, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> it's it's not even... It's so much stronger than you are. I'm mad right now. How much do you do? Fucking seven? Seven. Uh, it digs deep. You cut it pretty good. Um, it goes now. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up with my offhand. Alrighty. So I have advantage now. You have one advantage, which gives you plus ten. But I'm using my offhand, which is minus twenty. So it's minus ten. Minus ten. Oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, it hits you so hard you see your family <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead it, it is a dangerous opponent I'm gonna let it hit you for a little bit that's funny I feel like if I got slapped by a desired demon I would see Kayvon's family too you know what actually you're not gonna take damage but you are dazed so you're going to miss your next action. Uh, All right. Because I feel like it bats you with its crab hand. Uh, and it fucking smarts, man. You go prone and you're dazed. Um, and then it walks right through you towards the halfling. Uh, and it touches his face. And he, like... He starts foaming at the mouth a little bit, and it drops the chain. Gross. But then the witch hunter shoots it, so here we go. <laughs> you hear him mutter a blessing to Sigmar as he fires. Oh. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep the roll. Yeah, keep it. Closed and his car fires up and he drives off. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go a long way to find that die. I knocked almost everything over. 
And then I hurt my back. And yeah, uh, it was a pretty good roll though. But it gets to try to dodge. Let's see, where's the witch hunter? The hunter of witches. He's successful. Uh, uh, so he shoots and it moves so fast. It just lets its legs buckle under it. Just, whew, the shot goes right over its head. Um, but gritting his teeth and yelling a battle cry... He unsheaths his blade and charges in fearlessly. The witch hunter does? Yeah. Because you can right. dual wield a uh, sword pistol. Mm-hmm. Um, and it bats him away with ease. <laughs> Uh, and then Mr. Mort is going to go, uh, but I'm going to make him roll a cool check to uh, see if he can even attack right now. Which one's Mort? The bodyguard. Bodyguard. He cannot attack. He is shaking in his little space boots. Oh, look at that. Still not doing anything. <laughs> uh, Good old Mort. No, that was Coda. No, Coda's been trying to help. Mort he has hasn't been. done shit. Uh, and Coda is going to try to help now, too. But he is even more scared. <laughs> he wets himself. He full-on pees himself. Which is a normal reaction, I feel. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see. The witch hunter. Uh, groans as he gets a knife in the back from the cultist. The chaos worshiper. Um, and then it is Gary's turn. I run across the room, slide across the bar like it's the front of a police car, drop down behind the bar and run into the cellar. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, what am I supposed to do? Uh, I can give you a thing. We prefer the term chaos friend. Don't call it a demon. It's a chaos friend. It's a chaos friend. That's it. It's your chaos friend. It's your best friend. Back to the top of the order. We're going to start with Tildor. <clears throat> the reason it has all those extra tentacles is for all the extra hugs. <laughs> um, I'm dazed this round? Oh, yeah, you are dazed, but you can move and minor action. Um, I think. Oh man, this is a bad idea. I'm gonna get up, stumble towards the halfling, and pick up his pistol. I did say he had one. Mm hmm. <laughs> Follow him to the cellar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'll allow that. Um, but I mean, the demon's standing over him. Just. I, I know. Okay. I'm fully aware. Well, as you are the most obvious target, it will levy an attack yeah. against you. Its claw hand comes in fast. I will try to parry. <sighs> nope. Spend one more fortune to re-roll. 
I'm not failing with minus four against this. Good, because it passed with like plus five. <laughs> There we go. Ah, oh, my man. There he goes. Uh, so it's still gonna hit you. Uh, yeah. Because it rolled, it rolled almost the same number as you, and its skill is much higher. Uh, yeah. But it probably won't kill you. So um, it slashes you from shoulder to hip with its claw. Um, so you're going to take a uh, whopping six damage. Oof. Oh. Um, it is now. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to add its success levels. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, your legs yeah. give out and you fucking go down. You're still conscious, but you're at zero. Mm -hmm. You're clinging to consciousness. It did ten? Because you add the success levels, yeah. and it rolled like a I 19. Said it. Huh? It's because it rolled so well, yeah. Well, actually, am I supposed it to doesn't... take away yours? I thought so. Oh, I think I am supposed to. It's the difference. It's the difference. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because you're a two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're a two. <laughs> it hurt, though. Uh, yeah. So you're bleeding a lot. And then the witch hunter is going to be squealing about getting stabbed in the back. He's going to wheel around <laughs> with his blade. And he's going to flip his gun in his hand and use it as a club. And he's going to try and take this merchant guy out. Mm -hmm. uh, so he misses with the sword, but he comes in hard with the club. And that guy sees some stars. But yeah, he, he cl right. clubs him in the mouth. And then it is... Mort's turn. Mort's still terrified, but seeing that there's a human opponent, we'll go double team that guy. And he has advantage. <clears throat> that guy hits him. He skewers him through the back, and that guy, blood sprays everywhere. The cultist is hurt. Yeah, good job, Mert. Mort. Uh, Coda will try to not flee in terror. <laughs> ah, he steals himself, and he lets out a battle cry as he charges the demon. He goes right past here and completely misses. Good old Mort. <laughs> no, that was uh, Coda. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking about what he's... Oh, uh, I was reading, yeah, yeah Dirty Wear Rats. Uh... The cultist is going to fight back against these two foes. You hear him whisper dark incantations as he summons the chaos winds from the north. Hey, dark incantations. Dark incantations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see him unable to grasp at the winds of magic. It was going to be cool, but... Eh. Um, yeah, now it is Gary's turn. For I run down the cellar stairs across the cellar and blast out the door that leads to the street. I quickly try to figure out which way is south and keep on running. <laughs> <laughs> like, never looking back, Morgan Fierce trudges through the mud and the rain. I hope you don't get sick, buddy. Uh... <laughs> yeah, he, he got a demon in the material room for sure. He's a good he's a good caster. But the magic failed him this time. Uh... Your turn again, Cable. Never used one of these, but I'm going to give it a shot. 
quite literally give me your aim, uh, flint lock at um you know what I'm gonna aim them at the cultist any modifiers uh yeah uh you get a uh plus 20 because you outnumber him all right Oh, look at that. Ooh, a success on the dot. 46, baby. I will just have it do the same thing I've been having the other guy's gun do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it'll tear through his skull and bounce around a little bit, and he will expel his brain through his mouth. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. <sighs> The demon screeches a little bit at this, uh, but then seems to get very mad and lashes out at you again. Wait, I still have my oh, you my axe. You do. You can offhand the axe. Mm -hmm. One man army. Oh no! Nailed it. It's no good. Uh. Nailed it. How do you defend? Um, let's see. I'm already mid swing with my axe, so I'll just try and parry or post swing. God damn it! Would you like to spend any points? Um, you can re-roll for a fortune. Yeah, that'd be my last one. But these are the times in which you use them. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that looks good, boy. You and he still does eight damage to me. <laughs> you successfully uh, move its claw away. It didn't roll that. Oh, out. my God. Yeah. <laughs> Barely. You feel it, like, scrape your chest, but, like, you stop the worst of it. Um, and the witch hunter will now whip around and two-hand his saber into the thing's back. Hopefully. Hopefully. Now that you guys are two on one, you have advantage. He still, uh, the demon moves just so fast. <laughs> and bats, he, she spins and smacks the blade aside. And then uh, is facing both of you now. And then Mort. Mort will try. I'll try. <laughs> so he's going to almost stab the witch hunter and then code is going to come in with his axe now you guys are four on wanting a demon coda with the axe it's all about out. the axe baby it's all about the axe Ooh, that's only the second time she's been hit yeah uh, he it strikes true and it strikes deep, and he does some good damage. Um, and then Gary keeps running. I assume, right? Uh, so I have to run past the building. I'll look through the window. How's it looking in there? Four on one. That looks okay. Looks a little I'm a crap roll uh, cool. Roll a uh, cool. I'm a crap roll a uh, cool. I was gonna crap down and make a stealth check. Do do a cool check to see if you can rally. Dude, I'm so fucking cool. You never seen anybody it. as cool as me. I know it. Look at this. Minus oh! three. You look, <laughs> you look in the window and you see, like, hey, it's still in there. Man. And then you keep running. That's right. Peace. <laughs> 
Go ahead and take your turn, old two health Kavon. Oh. All right. Um. You have, at this point, you have like plus 40 advantage. Yeah. Is there a way to position myself to where I'm not in its face and I can, like, maybe not draw its ire? If not, I'm just going to attack. Yeah, you're all just kind of there. You can try and all move right. around to the back, but... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Very good. Yes, sir. <laughs> it bats... It bats it away. Uh, yeah. It bats it away. Anything and then going else? with... Uh, drop the pistol, um, since I don't know how to fucking reload those. Um, and draw my dagger. It still has plus 20. Yep. Oh, this one I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Critical success. My man. Go ahead and roll a D100. Uh, do I have to re-roll for vocation? No. Okay, because it was doubles. Oh yeah, you are supposed to reroll for location. Uh, All right, so that's forty-six or forty-nine. That'll be the location. Go ahead and roll another number. Okay. Yeah. 70. Yeah. Seventy-seven. Oh, so on. So he got a crit, and then he rerolled to get the crit location. Yes. Uh, and then he rolled a D100. He got a 77. On that D100, it shows the second one. It's going to show how much or, or the extent of the injury that he caused to the hit location. And it gets more severe the higher the number is. You got a body wound with a 77. Uh, you fracture its hit. It gains the stun condition. Uh, and prone. Uh, you stab, so what you're going to do, you're going to stab, it's going to die from this hit. Uh, you stab it, um, and you just, like, eviscerate its its stomach, and it just spills out to the ground. And as it hits the ground, it turns to smoke, and so does the creature, as it evaporates. As it collapses, as do I. Holding my wounds. Fuck that. Uh, let's see. Mort saw you run past the window, and after it dies, he'll yell at after you. Be like, hey, we killed it. <laughs> Is Oliver oh. okay? Huh? Is Oliver okay? Uh, I was he's, just he's... going to get some help, Mort. Uh, I'll be right back in. I was... I'm coming. The halfling uh, is unconscious. But alive? Yeah, he's alive. All right. Sorry, I thought maybe there would be a road warden out and about. Maybe he could come help us, or perhaps another witch hunter. Uh, nothing's out there, though, guys, so... Sorry it looked like I was running away. <laughs> wow, that went really well. I can't believe we killed that fucking thing. I was scared. All me, though. I was scared. Holding my chest. I kind of wish you, we didn't use that health potion, but I'm kind of glad that we did. Oh, God. <laughs> well, Oliver, actually, wake up. Do you have another one? Uh, he's Yeah, he's unconscious. <laughs> I'm going to dig through his shit. Oh, no. You see a lot <laughs> of stuff in there. Uh, anything that looks like the other one. You see a few that look like it, but they all look a little different. <laughs> Damn it. We could play this game if you want. To. Yes. Drink random stuff. Drink random stuff. That's one of my most favorite parts of a tabletop RPG. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. He's going to drink one. All right, John. All right. Mm -hmm. I have a cute sense of sight. I can 
I can tell the differences between the looks. Yeah, but how well did you look at it last time? Uh, not very. Oliver, wake the fuck up! He'll wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that he has, oh, good. A, he has an erection. <laughs> You're alive. I need help. Oh, no. Look at you. Did she, did she give you the sexy dreams, too? <laughs> Everything but. <clears throat> oh, no. Uh, yeah, let me take a look at that. He'll, he'll tend to you. Awesome. Uh, actually, I think that means you can gain... Uh, your toughness bonus. All right. Which is three. Oh, wow. Puts you at five. Um, so he will tend to your wounds. He'll put some salve on it, uh, which stops it from getting infected, which is an actual risk. Uh, but you do have yeah. an alchemist, and you didn't let him die. So <laughs> did my best. Um, and the witch, she is just sobbing. She's just sobbing. And the cultist. Super uh, dead. He's super dead. Yeah, you blew his head uh, up with a gun. Uh, does he have any belongings? Uh, you'll see some profane artifacts for sure. I'll show the witch hunter. These mean anything to you? Mm, talismans of the wicked, to be sure. So... Burn them in the fire? Yes. Sounds good. I'll throw them in the hearth. One of the things in there is a scroll written on human flesh. Gross. Oh yeah, let's see. I have to look that up. Continue while I look this up. Um. Well... You got to do what you got to do when you have the chance. And the only, maybe the only chance you'll ever have to do it. I'm going to evaluate that shit and I have no idea what it is. It's going in the fire. Too nasty to evaluate. It's gross. It's a bunch of skin. <laughs> Morgan that, coming back inside. Wait, did you try to read it? He tried to evaluate no. He just wanted to see if it was worth anything. Playing with fire here, guys. Playing with fire. Yeah. You're going to throw, like, some small-town boys into a demon fight, and you're going to expect everything to go well? I did Fuck nothing no. of the sort. You could have just kept walking past the inn. No, we couldn't. The storm was there. You'd just be wet. <laughs> And catch pneumonia. Maybe. Woo! I come back in. Right now I open the front door of the inn. Oh, man! I tell you. Fighting one demon must have been hard for you guys, but I finished two more outside. Give me a roll real quick. Everybody knows your lie, except for Roar. Except for, <laughs> except for Till. <laughs> except for Till. Woo. Uh, yes, I'm gonna need you both. Everybody in the room, pretty much, has to make a corruption check. Oh boy. Corruption. For what? Uh, For seeing a demon. Oh. And how? That uh, part I haven't figured out yet. We're going to do a test. S 
So we're gonna do an endurance test. An or endurance test. A cool test. Hey, fuck you! I'm cool as hell. I'm trying that. No modifiers. Yeah, you are. Uh oh. Dude, I'm so cool. Oh, oh no! You're so cool. We're keeping our cool so good right now. Oh, uh, dude, we're so cool. Kayvon wait, has wait, 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 one wait. fortune point. Can I? Uh, what is resolve used for? Um, it can was... be used for. Uh, you can become immune to stuff. Not this though. Oh. I think resolve shakes like poisons and effects and stuff. It can ignore conditions. Mm -hmm. But this isn't. But anything. not yeah. this. Not specifically, no. I have one fortune left. Mm -hmm. And Gary has three. Yeah, okay. Uh, we might as well. We might as well re roll that one. We might as well lose the fortune. We all know I'm real cool. <laughs> Dice don't lie. Dice, Dice don't, don't lie. Or not cool. That was my endurance. I'm so cool. Hey, I told you're you. so cool. Dice don't lie, man. You weren't in that fight. Of course yeah. you didn't get corrupted. Yeah, I'm cool as hell. <sighs> so yeah. Uh, I fucking ran right away. You ran away, which I guess was the wise thing. Uh, yeah, you gain a corruption. Yeah, for anyone at home following along that doesn't quite know what corruption does, there is a whole list of things corruption does, from mind to body and so forth. The more corruption you get, the more wild this game can become. If, if he gets enough, he will mutate. Or he'll have to make a roll against mutation, uh, but you don't you don't do that now. You just have a corruption point. Yeah, you have to stack corruption before it starts to really impact you. Where do I put that? Yes, they are cumulative over the game. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah, they, they, you rack them up uh, slowly. And then sometimes something doesn't happen immediately. You can have uh, mutations emerge gradually. But uh, it's not a good thing. <laughs> but it's okay to have uh, one it right now. Corrupt. It's fine. One. There are lots of ways to get rid of them. Also, you know, it happens. I'm not planning on, you know, necessarily throwing demons at you every time, so... <laughs> this was actually what I had in mind for the first game but I was like no nah, let's test the system and see how things go first <clears throat> but yeah so as you all rally together uh, tend to your wounds and you help clean up a bit uh, everybody I mean those of you that can't sleep will probably get some rest um what are you guys going to do? Oh, the witch hunter still has the witch. You saved the witch hunter. Mm-hmm. But yeah, as he takes her uh, back to the room, uh, you see her give one last sad look your way. Tisk tisk. At Scabbard Caper! What? Tavern keeper. He pops up from behind the bar, cleaning the glass. Get, can we get somebody to draw us up a couple of hot baths? What? No. Oh. We're, I got a lot on my plate, man. All right, then. I, I could wait. You're welcome for saving your business and your life. Yeah, Thank you. Right? I guess I don't need a bath then. I'll take a bath myself outside can, of the rain. I can do it for you tomorrow. That sounds where, great. Oh, goodness. Thank you for your hospitality. Where was the merchant sleeping? One of the rooms. 
oh, that's our room now. Oh, shit, yeah, it is. I wonder if he left any stuff in there, any goodies, like a bag of snacks. A yeah, bag he, of snacks. He did have did some it, stuff. He rolls in there. Uh, namely, he had about five silver. All so, right. yeah, you guys can do what you want with that. Uh, he had various knickknacks. Uh, he had some paperwork. Um, yeah. His paperwork, was it like uh, identification? Was it like merchant merchant stuff that a merchant needs to sell to a merchant's it, guild? It looks like some kind of merchant stuff, yeah. Uh, I'll take that. I will take merchant paperwork. That seems like something we might need at some point. He was a merchant. Was he traveling with any goods? Uh, it seems that he has some, uh, like, receipts. Like he went somewhere and placed an order. Okay. Um, yeah, we're keeping those. We'll collect on those goods. Mm-hmm. All right. I made a note. It is merchant paperwork from dead cultist guy with receipts. And on Perfect. his person, I'm sure you don't want it, but he had a knife and it was like kind of fucked up looking like evil occult well it doesn't look magic or anything but it's like uh it's definitely like look at that serial killer knife (laughs) gotcha it's a spooky knife he's got a spooky knife but yeah you guys uh you guys sleep in his room um and try not to dream dreams of demons but one of you is unsuccessful, and that is Tilroar. Mm-hmm. 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 So, oh, yeah. demon dreams. So while you're while you're dreaming, uh, I will give you this opportunity. You say yes or no, and this is a thing in the rules. You say yes or no. You do a thing that I tell you to do, and you can get rid of that corruption point right now. <laughs> uh but that's all I get to know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all you get to know. And if it's not, then I'm making it so that's all you get to know. <laughs> oh man, you get rid of it right um, now. And you don't—it's not like murder anybody. Man, I'm too curious for my own good. Yes. Okay. So you no longer have this. Uh, for those watching at home, this is called Dark Whispers. And it allows me to ask a player if he's willing to do a task to relieve himself of the corruption. So you get up out of bed, you walk down the hall. It's weird. The door is unlocked. And then, very quietly, eerily quietly, you unlock the witch's binds. And then you go to bed. Mm Mm-hmm. I figured that's what it was. I, I almost didn't do it, but I was like, oh yeah, I can <laughs> I can do this thing. Three other people in the room also letting her go. Yeah, we got corruption too. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, everybody. Hey, <laughs> let the witch go. It was spooky in there. Uh, hey, yeah. for some reason, we all agree, let the witch go. Uh. Yeah, was that was that not the plan? I thought that was the plan. That's what we said all along. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that one of you would do something but like there wasn't really much reason to until now so I'm happy that it happened that way but yeah so you guys wake up um yeah everybody's up, business as usual and what getting ready to set out to the south right mm-hmm it is. How does sleeping off injuries work? Or sleeping off wounds? Oh, 
Right, if you get a restful night's sleep, I think you get, like, toughness bonus. Uh, I'll look it up. Does that count as a restful night's sleep? Uh, not really. Okay. So, especially since you did what you did. Uh, yeah. But, we'll take care of that off camera, because it's almost sure. the end of our oh, journey yeah. for the evening. It's a pretty decent spot to wrap it up. Um, yeah. But yeah, so you guys wake up and what do you do? Take a bath, eat some bread. Man, that bath, yeah. Floss twice. Uh, the bar, <laughs> the barmaid, and the innkeeper look very tired, but things look clean again, as clean as they can be expected to be. Mm-hmm. That blood is gonna take some time, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's still raining outside, but not not like it was. It's eased up quite a bit. <clears throat> the halfling is sitting there. Uh, he eats breakfast with you guys. So, you guys almost ready to head out? Yeah, I think so. And it's going to be nice having you along with all those little potions you got. Man, That you came in quite handy last night. Thank uh, you. Yeah. I almost gave you the wrong one. Good thing I didn't give you this one. Oh boy, that would have been bad. Whew, we all we owe you a grant of datitude and a gratitude. A debt of gratitude. A get of datitude is awesome. We owe you a get of datitude. <laughs> and and so does the hunt the hitch wonter. Um when he says, good thing I didn't give you this other one, does he show us? Yeah. Mental note. I'm remembering which one that was. Mm. Or maybe it was this one. <laughs> <laughs> It'll crack a smile. Uh, but yeah, so... Is, is that all you guys do before you go? Yeah. Um, what's the witch hunter do? Uh, you didn't see him today. He was gone before we woke up? Uh, you don't know. You haven't seen him. Do I remember unlocking the witch? Uh, more or less. Oh, man, if I remember it, I'm going to go check. <clears throat> you go check. Even if it was just a, if I thought it was just a dream, I would go check. Yeah. The door is open a little bit. Mm-hmm. There's chains on the floor. There's chains on the floor, and there's a dead body in the room. The witch hunters? Mm hmm. And the witch is gone? Mm hmm. Is his pistol on his hip? Mm hmm. I take it. All right. Does he have dollar bills? Uh, yeah, he's got some. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we were going to get these. We take them. You get five more silver. <laughs> and then the door slams shut behind you, and the witch was there the whole time. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, whatever. I was, yeah. I'm rich. Get out of here. Look at her in my face, and I say, you're welcome. If you find silver to leave me alone, you crazy witch. Man, that, guy, <laughs> that guy's totally dead because of you. Yeah. It's okay. Witch hunters are bad people. Probably. And she might not even be a witch. Dude, I get to add this guy's gun. Maybe. Are you fucking kidding me? This has a Sigmar fucking hammer on it. People are going to not like the fact that I have this. I'm so fucking stoked. <laughs> Just uh, trade Oliver for his gun. No way, dude. I'm going to tell him I want it in a game of cards. <laughs> that's that's racist where at they're not thieves does, <laughs> does the have anything else I mean he's got various things traveling things you could just let us you could detail like, it later and let us know what kind of crap he's got and we can, right. if we want to go through his <laughs> you're shit. just gonna um, pilfer his shit and not tell yeah, anyone why be, he's, yeah, dead. he's dead so oh, no, we're, we're gonna tell everyone yeah, okay. um, after we're done taking what we want we're gonna exit the I'm till we'll exit the room 
announce to everyone that the witch has escaped and killed the witch hunter and highly recommend that everyone run as far as they can. Everyone will panic a little bit. Uh... As will we, the three of us, and we will head south. You guys head on down the road, the light rain being broken by the trees above, and the inn fades away into your memories. Don't forget to join us uh, every Wednesday or Thursday here for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay for the next couple weeks. Uh, we read systems, we read rules on the times in between, so make sure to follow Jahan's channel. Make sure to follow me, Casualty CDG, on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter for updates and comedy because I'm also a video game reviewer and comedian. I don't just play tabletop shit. I do all kinds of shit, baby. And I recently uh, started reviewing board games on nerdtropolis.com. Right. Uh, so make sure to follow me on uh, t- Twitch here and Twitter at RockFact. Uh, next week, we might try to play that new system, uh, Shiver, which is a horror system, which, as you can tell, probably fits right into my wheelhouse. Uh, we might do that. Uh, we're going to talk about it, but we're definitely playing a game next week and every week. So, uh, yeah, follow us for updates, and thanks for joining us. You guys have been a great audience. Uh it was like having another player at the table. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, where, special call out to Beastman Wererat for yeah, uh, the early action. <laughs> and uh, yeah, everybody have yourselves a wonderful night.